Hey there, just a couple things I need to touch on before we get into this episode. First thing is something I should have brought up as soon as this character was brought into the story. Genocide Jack. In the Japanese version, their name is Genocide or Shio. Spelled like this, pronounced like Shio. Shio actually stands for to soar or to fly high. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is Genocide or Shio is a gender ambiguous name. Now flip over to the English version and we get Genocide Jack, which is a reference to the serial killer Jack the Ripper. Interesting connection. I kind of wish they would have gone with another gender ambiguous name just to keep with the theme. And speaking of Genocide Jack, I got their disorder wrong. I knew I had got it wrong during the recording, but I failed to go back and actually fix it. But schizophrenia is not multiple personality disorder. They're actually very different. Almost every person gets this wrong. Schizophrenia is the splitting of mental functions. Basically, you fail to recognize what is real. Disassociative identity disorder is literally two personalities fighting for dominance in your mind. Two completely separate people in one mind. So, very big difference. I apologize, it is not schizophrenia. It is multiple personality disorder. Let's get going. I just realized that the symbols for the different changing rooms, like the girl side has like a, a full school swimsuit and the, the guys get speedos. Or just at least like brief swimsuits. But anyway, what's going on, everyone? It's the Nisko. Welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, uh, last few episodes, actually, Byakuya took us by the collar and uh, we did what investigation he wanted to do. But now it's time to go back and make sure we didn't miss any clues. There are a lot of things that we need to catch up on, but the main things that we got from Byakuya are important. Later. Hifumi, how's the investigation going? You you doing okay? No way. I feel as if... What did you get? What did you find? Exactly, please tell. Ugh. <laughs> Right, uh, keeping it all to himself. That's how teams work. That's it. I'm sure of it. Ooh, I bet he's shaking. Yeah, uh, Hifumi. Mm. Wait, what? Mm. What? She did. Hmm. Do you know this? Well, it would seem. <laughs> oh, you wish, my friend. You wish. Uh, maybe I can get some answers out of Celeste. I don't know. Oh, she's in the warehouse. Wait. But at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Hifumi, you're speaking riddles to me, man. Uh, before we head back into the girls' locker room, I know that's where all the evidence is. I just want to check a few things while we're here. Just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Something looks weird here. But the main thing I wanted to check was actually the pool. We didn't get a chance to take a look at the pool. I'm just curious to see if there's anything in here worth looking at. One thing. Anything? There's a locker. But nothing in here except a Monokuma coin. Awesome. Let's see, uh, while we're over here, is there anything to look at? I do f uh, find it kind of interesting that we need to go clear across the pool just to get to it, like we need to zoom in or something. Anyway, that's all I wanted to look at. I kind of figured there was a Monokuma coin there, and I was right. Now, we will come back into the boys' locker room, but there's something we need to do first. Actually, never mind. Makoto says there's plenty of important stuff in here. And yes, there is. Uh, first of all, this is the first thing that caught my eye. What's going on here? Please let that be coffee. Hmm. So there's a stain on the carpet. Looks a bit strange. Let's see, what other hot spots do we have? Actually, not too many. I'm very surprised. Oh, the security camera. I wonder what it knows. It knows nothing. It doesn't even know a Monokuma coin. Fine, this is the other thing that caught our attention. Why is there a boy poster? In here. Ooh, tornado. Maybe I should uh, give them a listen. Yeah. What kind of boys are working out in here? I don't know. Maybe some that... Maybe it's like the equivalent of the Backstreet Boys. Maybe they're fun to listen to no matter who you are. So catchy. I don't want to break the TV. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Those were the two main things that we needed to find in there. 
according to Makoto. But the big thing is here in the girls' locker room. There is tons of stuff that we need to collect. Oh, Chihiro, look at that. It's, oh, it's too much to bear. I can't stand it. All right, uh, Kyoko, have you found anything interesting? Did you find any more clues? Indeed. Okay, does that help me? However. Oh, okay. Uh, what did you have in mind? Can I help? I seem to be everybody's errand boy today. Well. All right, all right. You go off and do your own thing, Miss Mysterious. So then. Uh-oh. One more time and thoroughly. Uh-oh. Goodbye. Thanks for the prayers. Do you not have that much faith in me? So, Chihiro's handbook is gone. And I need to inspect her body very thoroughly, so I'm assuming... The killer must have taken it, and maybe it was destroyed, but we already know that it can't be destroyed. Hmm, we have a mystery. What if the killer has it on their person right now? That is a very good possibility. Uh, how are the bodyguards doing? Damn. <sighs> yeah. It's not fair, is it, Sakura? No forgiveness! It is the worst of the worst. It's like killing a rabbit. Absolutely horrible. Uh, well, all right. Um, I wonder if we can get any more information out of the bloodlust. We know what this is now. If we take a look at all the Genocide Jack cases, we know that this is almost exactly what he or she does. Written the victim's own blood around a crucifixion. Sounds about right. All right, anything else? There's actually still plenty to look at. The blood stain on the carpet. I mean, we can only assume it's Jahiro's blood. It makes perfect sense. The murder weapon is still here. And it all fits with the Monokuma file, and it has to be the murder weapon. But this, this right here is another thing that kind of caught my eye. Oh, hell yeah, Makoto! Take a look at everything else. In the poster, besides, you know, the big blood splotch. Why is this in the girls' locker room? I mean, I don't care. Wait. What's going on with the posters? Hmm. I wonder if anybody else can figure it out before the game does. Boy band poster in the boys' locker room big breasted swimsuit model in the girls' locker room. Hmm, maybe, Makoto. Maybe. Maybe to cause a little confusion. I don't know. That is a very good point. We need to talk to somebody who also frequents the locker room. But uh, before we do that, Mondo, how you doing with all this? You seem to be uh, pretty shaken up. And it looks like you're saying the exact same thing as last time, so... You know, it, was, it was good talking with you. Sakura, you frequent this place, don't you? Got a question for you. Do you like this type of model on the poster? Of course. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know this place like the back of your hand. Is there something amiss here? I'm sorry. Oh man, that could have been a good clue. However... Hmm? Alright, what do you have for me? What details? Okay, protein coffee. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. Well, you take what you can get. Spilled some on the carpet and left a stain in the girls' locker room. Oh, anybody else catching on? Of 
course. Monokuma, bring around a carpet cleaner? Stain magically disappeared. I really can't see Monokuma as the type to, you know, pull a maid stunt. I mean, unless the killer did it. So we have a brand new mystery, the case of the disappearing stain. I bet you can all guess what's going on here. But now we need to take a look at Chihiro. How far are we gonna go? This could be very bad. I, I feel bad. Th if I were in this situation right now, I would feel terrible that I would have to do this. I am so sorry right now, Chihiro. Take a closer look. Kind of a rope tying up her hands. Hmm. So this was used as like a makeshift crucifixion. Uh oh. An extension cord. Not a rope, but an extension cord. If we were to go back to the Monokuma file, this doesn't add up. Right. Bash in the head, insta death. Those of you who are makeshift detectives at home, you can probably figure out the inconsistency here. But the game probably won't catch up until a little later on. But now we have the status of the dead body, a very good clue to have. Another place that we need to look. Right, we need to do our research one more time. Now that Biyaku is gone, we have the entire place to ourself. All right, see you later, guys. Make sure nobody messes with this crime scene. It is very important that nothing gets touched there. Ifumi, I will see you later. I've got some places to go. Before we move anywhere else, I need to make sure that we're not missing anybody. Let's see here. Got the archive in the library. Those are our main hot spots that we need to go. There's nobody in the gym, on the uh, second floor of the pool. We don't need anybody there. Looks like we got somebody in the warehouse and somebody in the dining hall that we also need to look for. Let's see, it looks like uh, Taka's on the first floor here, as well as Hero. So why don't we make our way downstairs? We'll leave the uh, library and the archive for last, because that's the place that's going to connect everything. One thing uh, that was suggested to us by Hifumi is talking with Celeste. She seems to know something, but won't tell Hifumi, which I find absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Nobody likes Hifumi. Ah, oh, come on, he's a cool guy. He's not that creepy. How unfortunate. You see, if we all just got in one big group and just said it all out loud. Would have solved everything. Taka, I blame you. It better not be you. Well, uh, it can't be taken back, unfortunately. Maybe we'll all eventually learn what everybody's secret is, but for the time being, nobody knows anything. Hero, do you know anything? Huh? Oh, hey, Mikoto. Oh, wait, I just remembered who I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, you haven't? And I definitely didn't find any e-handbooks. I find it kind of funny. He gives you that hint to look in the mailbox, even though you've already looked in the mailbox. We already know what's in here. I just find that a bit funny that he reminds you that, hey, you better look in the mailbox, even though you already have this. You already know this clue. Or maybe he really is just that clueless.
One broken handbook out of all the indestructible handbooks. That right there is a mystery on its own, and I can't wait to solve that one. Just the fact that, according to Monokuma, they cannot be broken. They have one weak spot, he let that slip, but we don't know it yet. We're gonna have to figure that out. I believe Hina was the one in here. Let's go ahead and talk with her. Has she uh, found out anything? How's Toko doing? Now that I think about it, Hina, details, please. Hmm. She's gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing your job. Well done. What if she goes nuts on the next person who knocks on the door? Mm. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure you are. <laughs> I wouldn't go back. <laughs> yeah, can I have some? Huh? A donut? <laughs> of course. <sighs> two things I'm sure God created. <laughs> Outer space and donuts. The two most important things that our God gave us. You know, the other important thing being maybe the world. I don't know, depending on what you believe. Maybe you believe in the Donut God. Maybe you believe in Ike the Donut. Aww. We'll never know if Chihiro loved donuts. <laughs> I can imagine Ch uh, someone with Chihiro's stature and voice well. mimicking Homer Simpson. That would probably be the funniest thing. Mmm, donuts. Well, she was a, a shy one. I mean, she went to work out at like 2 a.m. every morning. She tried to keep her distance away from everybody. Yeah, totally. Hmm, from all the girls, but only the girls. That's weird. Hmm. Talk to all the boys all the time. That is true. I didn't even notice that. It's a weird detail to pick up on. Oh, well, maybe she was just really comfortable with dudes. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Uh? Ooh, that's good. She could get anything she wanted. Snap of her fingers and Mondo would have a shirt off. Wait, no! Can you imagine if Chihiro, like, cracked that whip? Had all the boys on her side? That would be terrifying! Well, thank you, Aoi. You are a great help. Now I'm gonna go check on Toko before she kills herself or something. Monokuma, what do we do in the case of a suicide? We can't uh, punish them, can we? And last I heard, Celeste was in here. Are you in here, gothic chick? Yes, you are. First off, any Monokuma coins in here? Plenty of stuff. No, nothing there. A lot of crap that we probably don't need. Wait, the fridge that... Oh, okay. I'm sorry, that was a weird line. How did he talk to Sayaka in Chapter 2? Blah, that confused me a bit. Alright, so nothing on this side. Let me just check a couple more things. Uh, Celeste, go ahead and uh, keep standing there. Can you imagine, like, if if uh, Makoto just walked in and Celeste was, you know, looking for clues, and then he just stood there and started looking really closely at weird things. Celeste, there's something in the box. Don't look at me like that! So, essentially, everything we could ever need is in here. Celeste, you know something. What do you know? What do you talk? What do you know? <laughs> See? You know, for a place where they want us to kill each other, they sure do have everything we need. 
Yes, anything important is what I should have said. Most unfortunate. Ah, come on. I'm not Hifumi. I'm one of the not weird guys. <laughs> she knew as soon as I walked in the door. It's like she could read my mind. She knew why I was here. <laughs> oh, sweet. I don't know how he managed to get this, but it worked. Actually. <gasps> no way. So what was going on? Indeed. Right before 9 time, so right before 10 p.m. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> Interesting. Yes, indeed. That would make the most sense. So she came here, got supplies to work out, and then went out during nighttime. <sighs> hey, now that's really mean. Don't be saying that. Hmm. Just be oh, under the veil of nighttime. She got all the supplies, went to the girls' locker room to work out. But that's missing too. Hmm. Right, so the killer's gotten rid of a lot of evidence. Celeste, that was the most helpful piece of evidence I have gotten so far. You are amazing. Even though you're, you're kind of a jerk, you, you gotta work on your attitude a bit. One last place we need to go. At least I'm assuming this is the last place we need to go. Off to... I shouldn't have gone there. Oh, okay, this'll work. Actually, didn't know we could warp right in front of the third floor stairs. That's kind of helpful. Just be able to warp to the different staircases. It's not that big of a deal. Just thought it was interesting. All right, Archive, show me the knowledge. We need to compare the old cases to the new cases. And while we're here, whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> no, thank you, I don't want to be the uh, sni uh, sniper target. Yeah, notice that right there, there used to be an extension cord in there. You're starting to put one and one together. All right, let's take a look. Something seems off about this case and the other. Wait a minute. Who took it? Who's the thief? Wait, the only person who knows this is in here. Oh, Biakuya, yeah, why would you take that? I need to know. Well... I guess we're not getting the information about the Genocide Jack cases anymore. I wonder if we can find Byakuya, have him give him the, uh, give the book back. Oops, no, <laughs> didn't want to do that. There are so many hotspots that somewhat overlap each other, like that. But chances are there's no hotspot for the lamp. Oh yeah, there is. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I'll just get out of here. Oh, wait, no, there is one more thing in here. I'm silly. Ooh, maybe... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, duh. Why would you not just move the lamp? Wait, Byakuya was using it. Uh-oh. 
aren't looking too good for Byakuya. And our time is up. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. The moment of truth. It's all going to begin again. <sighs> Another class trial that we have to do. We have plenty of ammunition. But will it all be relevant? And again, I love the fact that they put you right in front of the door. To have you slowly walk up to it, walk right in. Really good effect. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, where's, uh... Can you move out of the way? Yo. Oh yeah, Toko! She's still going nuts? <laughs> oh, not even memorable in Monokuma's eyes. She kind of makes an impression. Come on. <laughs> no kidding. What are you going to do? <laughs> you know, I kind of want to see this cartoonish moment of a small stuffed toy. Dragging a semi grown adult kicking and screaming. Oh, and he actually did it. Yeah. Here we are. We're all here. I don't want to. All Let's right. Go. Later, Monokuma. No, oh, Byaku is all fired up. The weakest girl among us. the most innocent of all of us was killed by somebody in this room. That is inhumane. That is awful. That is atrocious. Hero, you did it. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're so good to do this. Sakura, you did it. Well, then. Actually, no. Sakura doesn't have that aura of violence. I mean, you know, she looks tough on the outside. It probably, like, has butterflies land on her finger um, on the hmm. inside. Count on it. It's hard to say, you know, why a killer does what they do. But hopefully we'll figure that out in this class trial. Kyoko, how you doing? Shall we go? Were you able to find what you were looking for? I sure hope so. You seem to be the crutch in the uh, trial so far. Let's see if you oh, prove your sad. usefulness. <laughs> You had a thing for the for the little girl. Oh, good. Oh, woo. Mondo, how you doing? Hey, come on. I think she's just crazy. Toko, uh, why are you acting up? What's going on? Yeah. Okay, good talk. Celeste, that information you gave me was golden. I will be sure to keep it as the ace up my sleeve. Hina, you should have been able to tame Toko by now. What happened? <laughs> well, as long as you're aware. As long as you're aware. And Byakuya, I can't wait to see you in this trial. You have given me so much information 
But based on the other evidence I found, this will be interesting. Let's go, guys. It's true. Hey, at least I'm not on trial this time. But the interesting part is, we don't know who is. So in a technicality, we're all on trial here. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh yeah, it looks great. Hmm. But Yakuya's ready to go, and so am I. Very nice. <laughs> he wants to get this over with. Well. Hey, I'm ready too. Thrills, chills, kills. Showtime. Dang, don't